guys this is the finished look of my jamaican fried cabbage what you giving that's how we live it don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed i hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe hi guys welcome back to our next video back in the kitchen again showing you how i prepare my jamaican fried cabbage and you Yes guys, Jamaican fried cabbage. Big up on yourself and thank you for coming in. Thank you for watching. Yes guys, Jamaican fried cabbage. So what I'm doing here is to rinse off my cabbage with some salt. And you just put the, the pipe and some warm water. So I wash the cabbage in some, some warm salt water. Okay guys? <laughs> Cabbage. Just gonna cut it up. And you can cut them up any any size you want. Cut them up. But me prefer them small. Yeah, I prefer doing them small. I'm fine. Yes guys, here I have all of my seasoning that I'm going to put in my fried cabbage and I have some yellow sweet pepper, red sweet pepper, green sweet pepper, some onion, purple onion, I'm going to put some thyme, some pepper, spatch barn pepper, tomato, carrot and my scallion. So this is all my herb that I'm going to put in my fried cabbage. You know, like when my vegetable always have a lot of beautiful colors. So what I'm gonna do first is to thread my carrot. This is just one carrot I'm gonna thread in there. So here I thread my carrot. I just use it in my hand to just combine the carrot and the cabbage, cabbage together. So I'm gonna add in all of my seasoning, my scallion, my purple onion and the scotch body pepper, some tomato, yellow sweet pepper, green sweet pepper, and red sweet pepper. Okay, beautiful color. All colors together combine, beautiful, and piece of thyme. All right. You can use any kind of oil you want to use, but I'm just going to use some olive oil and just, just, just give it a little grease. Yeah. So how colorful it is. Yeah. So I'm going to fry this cabbage now. So what I'm going to add to it now is a little spice. Not a lot of spice, just a little. Not gonna add any salt in there because this I already have a lot of salt. Okay, just gonna add a little butter, just a little butter. Yeah. Okay. The pot already. I'm just dash pot already on the on the stove. Just gonna pour some oil in there and start to fry. This is the oil I'm gonna pour in there. Some extra olive virgin olive oil. Pot is already hot, so I'm just gonna pour this in there just a little, just a bit, a little tip. I'm 
just gonna put in my cabbage, let it fry the pot up now. I'm just gonna put it in. We're gonna leave this now. Not gonna add no water in here, right? No water. Just burn on the stove. Let this I don't want it burn. I don't want it burn before it cooks, okay? Make it steam for about five to six minutes, okay? And this is how it look. No water. Just a little bit of a tip of olive oil and a little butter. That's it. And look how the bottom of it moist. A lot of moist is in the bottom. Yeah. I'm just going to turn this off now because this is how it look after six, not even so long later. About five minutes. This is how my fried cabbage look. Yes. If you want, you can just tip a little black pepper in there. Just get a look, you know? Yeah. This is how my cabbage look after six minutes. You can see the moist down the bottom, so you're not going to get a fry. You're not going to get a dry fried cabbage. No. It's moist, same way. Okay? So I'm going to show you the finishing look. Okay? Guys, this is the finished look of my Jamaican fried cabbage. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, subscribe, comment, and share, and tell me all about my Jamaican fried cabbage. Guys, big up on yourself, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bless you all.